wanted to um, explain a little bit about what happens whenever you eat a hot chili pepper. So what happens whenever you eat a hot chili is that the uh, there's a, a molecule in it called capsaicin that binds to the, uh, the nerve receptors on your tongue, on your skin cells, and essentially it, it causes a flood of calcium ions to enter the, um, the nerve cell. And that is what triggers that nerve cell, it sends the, the signal, the pain signal to the brain to tell you that, okay, this is hot, you're, you're being burned, or at least your brain is telling you that you're being burned. But that's the, that's the ironic thing about the hot chili and, and capsaicin molecule, is that you're actually not being burned at all. It, you definitely feel pain. You feel very, very real pain. As a matter of fact, you can probably feel about the worst pain that you've ever felt in your life when you eat something like a Carolina Reaper or a Trinidad Marigo Scorpion or a, a chocolate bootla, some, some type of hot chili like that. You will feel ex extreme pain. But there's actually no damage uh, done to the, the physical cells itself, the nerve cells, the taste buds, anything like that. But there's actually no damage uh, done to the, the physical cells itself, the nerve cells, the taste buds, anything like that. There's a little bit of um, uh, confusion about what it does to, to different types of skin types. Like say for instance, it can cause your, your lips to go red. Obviously if you get a little bit in your eye, your eyes will immediately go bloodshot and it feels like somebody just doused you in the face with you know uh, military grade pepper spray if you get something like a you know chocolate ghost pepper or something like that in your eye while it is an irritant it's not actually damaging anything um, that's exactly why the military uses it is it it's an irritant but it, it's technically it's not really hurting you uh, there are certain body responses and neurotransmitter responses that will go on to make it look like that there's damage going on. The red lips, your face will turn red, you'll start sweating, your tears will start streaming down your face. Um, the saliva production just goes into overdrive. Your nose will start running profusely. I can barely talk. <laughs> so there's all of these responses that you know, it makes it look like there's really something serious going on, but it, once again, it's just kind of how I usually explain it is just a trick on the brain. <laughs> peppers are actually one of the most healthy things that you can possibly eat. Um, hot chili peppers are extremely high in uh, vitamin A and C and E and folic acid and potassium. It's actually got three times the amount of vitamin C that an orange has. Um, it's one of the most nutrient-dense packed foods that you can possibly eat. Uh, the same is true of, of a red bell pepper or a, a red Carolina Reaper. Keep that in mind that, you know, it, it's okay if you want to try some spicy foods, even if you have things like acid reflux or ulcers or, or, or things like that. It's not, it's not going to hurt you at all. As a matter of fact, it can actually fix a lot of those problems. There's a ton of scientific evidence out right now that explains how uh, hot chilies and the, the capsaicin molecule can can actually uh, start to reverse a, a lot of those digestive issues. I, I'm a living example of that. I used to have very very serious acid reflux. I would I would wake up in the middle of the night, literally choking on stomach acid after eating a big meal or uh, drinking um, like red wine or something like that. Um, and once I started incorporating hot chilies into my diet, it completely stopped. I, I don't have a single problem eating any kind of spicy foods. Um, I never get acid reflux anymore. I, I had tried all of the, a lot of those over-the-counter medicines like Prilosec and Zantac and I, I used to pop um, antacids like they were M&Ms or something and um, now I, I can't even remember the last time I've had to take an antacid. So there's a, a lot of confusion about spicy foods, you know, causing problems like that. But I think if, if people really pay attention to what's going on, say for instance you go to a Mexican restaurant and you're eating a spicy dish, the next thing you know you, you feel like you've got some acid issues. It's actually coming from uh, things like the flour tortilla, 
or the onions that are in, in there, sometimes the sauces that they put on there, the tomatoes. The peppers and the, uh, the, the spiciness of the capsaicin is actually getting blamed for something that is really not, not its fault. A hot chili does not really acidic. Um, it's actually um, basic on the pH scale and it, it counteracts a lot of the, the acid that's in the tomatoes and onions and things like that. Um, so ironically it would be even worse if the hot chilies were not in that food. So I hope this helps explain a little bit um, about what's going on whenever you eat a hot chili and helps dispel some of the, um, some of the myths that are out there um, and, and hopefully even inspire some people to, uh, to try some spicy foods. And uh, I think that if so, you'll be very, very pleasantly surprised about um, just the amazing flavor and uh, the amazing uh, tastes and sensations and even body responses that, that you get from, from adding these things into a particular dish or just like I do a lot of times even just eating them raw. Um, it's just a, a fantastic um, addition to, um, to your cooking.